Hello fellow leggers, thank you for joining us on this dry evening, which is very important because we are in Regent's Park yes. at the Open Air Theatre. Exposed to the elements, Exposed. boys and girls, we really are. Now we are here to see a brand new production, and I think that's what excites me the most, of a fairly tired musical, shall we say? That's a strong opinion. It is a strong opinion because it just gets done all the time, but it is of course popular for a reason, the classic Evita. So stick around to hear all of our thoughts on this musical. Find out how many stars. Whether it's break a leg or leg it. We have been here once before. Yes. Um, this is, I want to say it's our third outing to outdoor theatre, because we've yeah. also been to Kilworth, Kilworth House, House as well. So Kilworth House is undercover. This isn't this undercover. This isn't at all but undercover. As if you're it saying, rains, you're going to get wet. You're exposed to the elements, mm. and there's something, I think, once the sun comes down... It's quite magical. It adds something extra. So, yeah. interesting to be back for an Andrew Lloyd Webber classic. Yes, 1970s iconic musical by Tim Rice and Andrew Lloyd Webber. If you don't already know about its history and its legacy and its story, you can check out our previous review of the Bill Kenwright produced tour just up there. Or you could just wake up, because where have you been, guys? Like, literally, <laughs> if you don't know Evita, I feel like it's a rite of passage. If you're into musical theatre, you know Evita. Elaine Page... Patti LuPone, all Madonna. that, Ma less said about that the better, but anyway, brand new production directed by, I'd say one of our most exciting directors. He's done some great stuff. Yeah, Jamie Lloyd is directing this production, now he did Pitchfork Disney, he did Assassins at the Menia, which was incredible. Faustus. Yes, Dr. Faustus, Apologia, and most recently Betrayal at which the Which has gone over to, uh, going over to Broadway. Broadway. Yeah. yeah, so that's fantastic. Now choreography in this production is Fabian Alois, now Fabian um, the Rink and recently The View Upstairs. He yep. is great on the up and up. Now the cast for this one features some US and Puerto Rican imports including Hector Rivera in the role of Juan Perón okay. whose other credits include On Your Feet on Broadway. Wow. We've got Trent Saunders as Shay who's appeared in Aladdin on Broadway and in the title role that of Ava Perón herself is Samantha Pauley. Now Samantha most recently appeared in the Chicago cast of six and six wow. has just announced a broadway transfer so what well done um, guys lucy toby so well deserved a great musical um, i'm sure we said when we saw that review as well that we wanted it to go broad to broadway yeah. i think i think that's what we said touted as the british hamilton have to watch really, it again. And hopefully yes. it'll have that level of success and they'll, uh, anyway. they'll love it in the states i'm sure but she was in six on chicago and now she she's was. here and now she's here two hours and 15 minutes including intervals it's not a long one zippy now i remember the story pretty fast i remember when we saw it on tour the bill kenwright production the sound and the music was really good and strong i yes. also enjoyed the choreography so i'm interesting to see as Something you say different. a different production yeah, because like I say, it's just been out there for so long now. You wonder what can they possibly do with it. But if anyone could surprise us, I think it's Jamie. And coming off the back of like Jesus Christ Superstar. Yeah, that. that which had um, Olivier wins and yeah, now at the Barbican. Yeah, so who knows? This place has got a good another legacy, formula. hasn't it? It's got yeah. a good, good reputation. Nothing like expectations. Limit yourselves. We'll see you after our 30 second interval breakdown. And stick around to the end to hear our thoughts and find out how many stars. We've come to the interval, which means it's time for the Breaker Leggers 30, 30 second, second interval, interval breakdown. breakdown. Go. What do you think so far? I'll go first. I am enjoying it. And we've got to be quick because we've got to go back in. Um, but I think they've stripped everything back so it's really bare. And as a result, Jamie Lloyd is really showing his creative side as he has done in the past in um, how he can demonstrate things with balloons, smoke, every, etc. What do you think? I'm on the fence, to be honest with you. There are certain elements of it I really, really love. There are certain elements which I'm going to take some persuading. I'm interested to see what happens next. It's sort of, a, it's modernised. It's about political celebrity. I'm feeling Meghan Markle. I'm f Fellow Leggers, we have come to the end of Evita here at the Regent's Park Open Air Theatre. And I've got to say, it, it is nice to see 
some bold choices being made by a fresh director on this piece because I have felt that it's tired in its current incarnations in that very traditional setting even on Broadway with the Ricky Martin version that was recent a few years ago I'm just you just get the you same were tired of it you're tired over and of over the again. same thing I, I enjoyed production wise it. no I don't I, mean I mean it previously I've been tired yeah I know but you're saying you're tired of it I've actually enjoyed the previous production the oh, I'm Bill not Kenway to say and the Vita, I, yeah. like, I had no problems with it I don't I enjoyed that. But I'm done with it now, and it's but nice to see somebody bring another again. fresh idea. I welcome okay, you. Okay, question for you. Would right. you. If you could only pick one production of Evita, would yeah. it be this, or would it be the Bill Kenwright tour that's been tra out on the road for 56 years? Can we ask, can, you, can I answer that question come the end? Okay. Because well, we need to talk about mind. this, because otherwise I'm just going to spoil all of what I think about this. Keep it in your mind then, and we'll okay. come back to it. But I mean, I would say it sounds great still. Like, it's rocky, and it's it's Latino and it's compelling the orchestration as, a, as and an the score. orchestration yeah, as a the score. score is, there's some really good stuff in the score yeah. and it's been orchestrated really well to bring out exactly those Latin South yeah. American themes Yes, um, and it's lovely to listen to. It is lovely to listen to but you've all heard it. You know these songs like the back of your hands because we've had 30 years of it. 40 years of it, sorry now. So. There were times that I thought I only kind of picked out the lyrics because I knew them. Yeah. And I'm not sure. We, I mean, we're catching this very early in previews. Yeah, we need to so be very, gonna very be clear that, that are changing. the balance is going to be different. And I thought the balance was change. fine, but there was just some of the lyrics. I thought, you know, I'm not quite catching it. So hopefully they iron that out mm -hmm. in previews ready for opening night. Yes. But this isn't a typical Evita, and I think this is going to be quite polarising when it comes to... I mean, we were chatting about it. We try not to talk off camera, but we at all. But um, we were talking about it beforehand, and we were saying it, it is quite shocking in this production, in so much as if you bring your nan to it, and she expects that, oh, the nice story of Evita, that nice young girl that tried to make a difference, and then she gets um, kind of girls in night dresses sniffing their knickers and rubbing their genitalia, which has got... Um, Jamie Lloyd written all over it and you've got men writhing around in their underwear and rubbing kind of muck on their faces almost then you're going to be a bit shocked I think you need to come with an open mind this is more of a contemporary view yes. and those those are subtle moments that kind they're of like happen they're not subtle it's not there's that bad it's, it's you not mean they're few and far between yeah. but when they're there they're there this, this is like, it's not it's that extreme it's a sexed up version of this show subtly uh, well, I not, don't, there's I don't there's nothing know. subtle about chucking your knickers in someone's face but, but what well, do you think subtle about that you don't see anything it's more of the idea if you had that here Tom Jones I'm sure if you bring in your nan she was the one that was throwing her knickers at Tom uh, Jones, oh, and it's I just really showing that. I really don't want to think that. about that, Nan. I but love you know what I mean. So it's not. Tell me that you've done it's that. It's not that extreme. Like it's not explicit, but there are certain things that I think you're right. Jamie Lloyd does tap into. It's very contemporary. Yes. He, the way it's set is there's kind of no set. There's just these six steps. Mm -hmm. It felt like I was saying to you, it's a bit like the O2 concert um, arena version of Jesus Christ Superstar that they did follow in the reality show the yes, talent show that in cast that it's that just part. a set of steps ben and then Forster it's the... and Tim Minchin Mel C version yeah and I always thought yeah. the Shea was a bit um, kind of Tim Minchin-esque in that kind of long hair I, I felt as if there were echoes and themes that they're going for and it, I like I said we won't that. go too much into the story because you will probably already know what happens but what is interesting is there's no clear timeline in this the other oh, versions yeah, yeah, that yeah. we've seen no, don't, no it's not set in a specific time we've seen other versions where it is the 19 whatever it would have been 40s 20s, the 1940s 30s, 40s. that era whereas this they've got mobile phones at one point it is making a commentary on what it means to be a celebrity what it means to do what Ava did and she did something which by today's standards isn't shocking but for someone then to be a celebrity to be a minor celebrity and then basically f their way to the top and then when she died keep on f***ing like because the country went to shit, right then i would say she she paved the way for the likes of donald trump entering politics arnold schwarzenegger entering politics um and You're saying that she was the comedian. first celebrity yeah first to get, celebrity was she not, politician was she not a politician she, first then became a celebrity no she was an art and a radio actress right so she then became involved in the political and i guess world. this is the time before social media before yep. quick fast information getting here at the palm of your hand in her real life story here social media is at the heart of it because it's posing for selfies and it's yeah it's quite 
and you, it's quite contemporary. different. It's I think contemporary. it's very contemporary, yeah. very stripped back. Because it still has a part to play in our society. I was yeah. thinking about um, Princess Diana. I was thinking about um, Meghan Markle even, and people being critical of her relationship within the royal family, and that being relevant to this staging. And I'm sure the director had that in mind. Some really interesting creative ideas, lots yeah. of balloons. Yeah, I liked balloons. the colour theming, it's very blue and white. Well, that's the colour of the Argentinian flag. I loved it, I thought it was really I'm nice I'm glad that, that, that you, you enjoy their flag. Well, that is, that's, is the way it's used. But it's used it's throughout. throughout. And I thought it was really nice. Lots and lots. We're outside in the open, so we don't have to worry about ventilation. And as a result, there's so many smoke flares. Smoke flares. Smoke like you flares will not here, there, believe. and everywhere. Which does, you know, there's some really beautiful, picturesque moments, and some of the backlighting. Yeah, the production shots for this underneath will be great. the stairs. Yeah, through silhou silhouetted moments, and once the sun has gone down, uh, it just really does look quite a visual feast. Yeah, through quite a lot of time. Visual. Striking the visual. Yep. Um, also, I would say you don't get what I thought was quite interesting is you don't get the traditional uh, Ava Peron look until right at the very end. Apart from in a small girl, she's um, in, in her the, bra, a yeah. silk bra, and kind of hot a pants, slip kind of well. slip, and yeah. um, a nightdress for most of it. Mm -hmm. for, so it is very different. Yeah, it is. I was very, fine with that. But like I say, I'm glad that someone is taking. If you're some a risks purist, I think if you if you aren't coming to see big set pieces that look like it and some of those costumes that look like the time you're going to be a bit shocked they're not perhaps. there guys let's move on to some of the performances i think let's um and then we'll talk about the creatives performance wise i've i've got to say they were all very strong but there was nobody that was sort of a big standout for me i'd imagine if i'd have seen patty lapone on broadway for this i'd have gone away going oh my god she's a star like she is absolutely incredible this is going to be amazing for her career i didn't feel like that about a single actor in this although i did feel that they were all strong absolutely um, uh, vocally an amazing score yep. and a demanding score are yep. we going to start at the top do you want to start with samantha Pauly samantha as Pauly. Ava okay ava peron i think is undoubtedly agreed by um musical people that it's such a demanding a score. difficult such score like, it's up here Patty Lepone Lepone da, da, famously da, 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 said that he, she believes da, da, da. andrew lloyd Webber hates women in his writing and because of the expectation the and the demand on their voices and but she Samantha pulls it off she's got it in her range she's yeah. got it up there she was hitting all these notes there was a couple of points at the end of the buenos aires is it numbers yeah. where it's this big final note that i was a bit worried I was mm -hmm. concerned that again we're in preview, so maybe she just hasn't found where that line is that she's going to sing and where that sits. So hopefully that'll lion out. But apart from that, I thought she was. Um She's very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Treble heavy. It's mm -hmm. almost quite treble heavy, quite soprano head heavy. Yeah, I was quite missing sharp some of those. Um, bassy notes. Bassy notes. No, when you say sharp, it wasn't off key. It's just sometimes, because it's quite treble, it sounds more piercing mm. and it was less of those mid grounds, more but of the ground. In goodness. control. What about her acting? Was she believable? Do you know one thing I struggled with? I don't think I don't know whether the question this is to the, move on so I we'll come back so we'll, uh, tell us tell us I and then I'll answer your question think, I don't think the in this production I don't think the storytelling is as concise as the other version I've seen like as in what is going on what were you missing I just think uh, there's some sort of thread where I wasn't following the story as clear like if this was the I think first it's time I visited it through metaphor through yeah. some if of it it's the first time I visited I'd have been confused yeah. but what did you think of Samantha's acting I thought she was great I thought she was good I thought she was there. I thought she was real. She's very young. They're very taking young. this from a young, hip, sassy yeah. point of view. She's just done the Queen in six, and she brings that. And Attitude. I think Jamie exploits that and is mm. almost asking her. And that's also why it feels a bit modern, I felt, quite early on. Because she kind of brings that. Mm -hmm. The attitude bit. Yeah, brings that attitude Trent bits. Saunders as Shay. I thought he was good. Good. He, he was, he, um, was, what's the number? Money kept rolling in. Yeah. I thought it was one of the better numbers. It probably is the highlight stand out, of the entire show really? for me. I mean, I love that song anyway, but the way it was staged and him singing it, he doesn't have those consistent um, high notes I've heard other people sing it with in the, ah, the bits well, he does he it once that, doo, once there. but i've heard it done in every single chorus and he didn't do it consistently that's because you love the original no i love the original broadway is it the you original keep broadway the give me mandy patinkin that's the one and patty lapone any day of the week okay, okay. Just um I, it's hard to not of, compare well in terms of trent then mm -hmm. uh, he, a lot is asked of him mm -hmm. and i think this is where you're talking about some of the story gets a bit lost because mm -hmm. it gets a bit metaphorical because he's uh, 
I don't want to spoil it, but I guess I'm going to have to. So Sorry, put your fingers but yeah, in your ear. turn it off. Now. But you know, Skip in terms of concept, stripping down to your pants, throwing away your microphone, then getting doused in blue and white paint, and just, like he's committed, man. You That's a big be. ask of an actor and really nice creative vision, I think, from Jamie. I liked that. Great, Hector Rivera as Juan Peron, very young as well. I mean, traditionally, I think that story is a, an older man, a younger woman seducing an older man and giving him a sense of connection with the youth of, of Argentina and that's how he bridges the gap but when you've got two people who look a similar age playing it is some of that lost not the actors fault but what he did do he did well he had class he had style he looked good he looks very striking he looks very young um, vocally I thought he was good and I, I can't add any more to that it's I've heard no. other people sing it where it has been Wow, I yeah. didn't know it could be sung like that. I think that's the problem when a piece is 30, 40 years old. And you've got, you've so got a many lot of casts, yeah. so you've got a lot of people to go, they did that bit better, they did that bit better, that bit better. But he looked great. Adam Pierce as um, Austin McGaldy. I thought he was uh, I thought he was good. Again, it's really tricky it's because so many people have Don't, nailed yeah. it. Nailed it in the past. He's, he says he's, he's, I mean, he's Interestingly I, I, enough, he's done he's been in Evita before. Yeah, so he's good. Uh, talking about the cast and being young, I always yeah. found it... Is it wrong to say it's a bit ageist? Is that too much? Because it's a very young cast. I think it's been a conscious decision by the director to keep it young, right? To make it a young story. Yeah. It's, it's just weird. Um, not often that I say that. Yeah. But I, I think it really did stand out to me. A huge ensemble, very great talented diversity, ensemble. Though. Absolutely great yeah. diversity in terms of um, all of the ensemble. Yeah. Let's talk about Francis Maley Makana's The Mistress now, and that's another great song. I mean, you've it's a thankless task that one because you've got one number to prove yourself, and you get no other opportunity. I if you thought... don't do well there, you don't get a chance to bring to to kind of redeem yourself. I thought it was set up really well in the direction mm -hmm. and I thought she sang it really well um, I really cared it stands out it stands out as a number because before then it's been all big and it's been all this da -da 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 -da, and then suddenly it all comes down to this one point of view from this girl and because it's set up in the song before I was like oh, do you know what I really feel it for this girl well, it's France, not just a song yeah. I did that set up well she, and made she sang it, it really well. She did sing it really well. So um, Frances was nominated for an Olivier Award for her role in Our Ladies of Perpetual Sucker. Oh, wow. So she's, oh, fantastic. She, which and loved. we loved that. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Great. Now, let's just generally switch over the ensemble. I'm not going to pull anyone out, but it is a real ensemble piece because the choreography is non-stop. And that brings us neatly into some of the creatives. Can we talk about choreography? Let's please talk As about choreography. As it's a standout. It's pretty much one of the main reasons, I think, to come and see this. Yeah, I would say for me it would be, if you were going to come for any reason, it's to see what Fabian Alois has done with the movement in this and the choreography, which is stunning. There are almost Greek choral movement where everybody moves as one and sort of sweep the characters from side side of the stage there is Paris's burning style voguing moments which are so stylized there's um, Latino it was, numbers also, there's kind of the big thumps yeah. and the throws and the uh, and here, there, hip everywhere. hop as well there's a bit of hip hop oh, in yeah, there um, body popping and for me the number um, which has never really worked in the show for me particularly well is the art of the possible with the soldiers because of Fabian's creativity in the yes. choreography for that it finally worked for me and that's a massive praise from me because I've never enjoyed that number he lets a, a, a an ensemble member become a general and dance it in a way that I've not seen since Janet Jackson's Rhythm Nation it's very sort of sharp angular motion yes. and I'm trying to find who almost, it was in the ensemble I don't think you will because it no. won't be listed but 80s <sighs> um, 80s style almost pop sort of early 90s rap movement it was just a visually exciting and when those uh, it's basically meant to be there that number as a political device to show if you don't agree with us we will kill you we will that and it just worked so well in a coming together of director's vision and choreography vision for that number I think the thing is it Fabian yeah Fabian Allos I think because we saw um, the choreography for the rink which is yeah. a really small space mm. and this it it's massive choreographing a huge space that is on six steps mm. is a logistical nightmare mm. like you just don't appreciate how difficult it is to get actors and performers walking up steps on different levels so um, the amount of vision and then logistical execution to yep. make it work in fact is top-notch 
Schwarzenegger's nomination. What? Best choreography, I would say, Fabian Aloise for Evita, because she's done something with it which is completely exciting yeah. and the reason Makes to see the show. And it's because it's so exposed, because mm -hmm. that's all there is. There is no set. You have to rely on the staging. And it wasn't just the choreography, but it's the musical movement of the performers yes. through the space as well. That Oops. was tremendously exciting, Abs thoroughly deserved. Absolutely. I'd also oh, go. mention lighting of John Clark. Thought the yep. lighting was phenomenal. Beautiful. And sound design for Nick Lidster was also very strong too. Yes. Um, I mean, there isn't a designer is Sutra Gilmore. It was just very arena esque. I mean, it was okay. Um, Not direction. Amount, I know we've talked a little yeah, I mean, about Jamie. some really nice creative ideas. I think, as we say, this is previews, hmm. potentially one too many confetti cannon for yeah, me. Yeah, just non-stop <laughs> The with first the time it was like, wow. I, I was Second thinking time to myself, it was good. Third more, time I was like, okay, we've seen it now. Any more paper in the atmosphere, it's going to become an ecological, ecological, <laughs> ecological. problem. Like, birds are going to sort of start getting caught in these confetti cannons and it was all but too really nice. Like, there's this moment when they just made the, the name Peron with all different cards, which I thought, you know. Simple but effective. And that's Jamie Lloyd. He does come up with some really nice visual striking like moments. Like the production shots will be exciting for this. Like every single one Did of them. Did we say the production uh, shots would be exciting? Any, any of them will make a good backdrop for your laptop. Do you know what I mean? Like on a, a your, your wallpaper. <laughs> I think they'll make a great wallpaper. Uh, hopefully we'll have them. Now we've gone on and on and on so let's wrap it up. Well before we um, tell you how many stars make sure you subscribe. Yeah if you want to hear more from us and our ramblings about the theatre pieces old and new then give us a thumbs up hit subscribe. It's just nice to know you're there guys because I can have this chat with him in the car. I don't want to do it. Anyway, you are probably wondering how many stars we are going to give Andrew Lloyd Webber's Evita. Andrew Lloyd Webber and Sir Tim Rice. Don't and forget Sir about oh, him. adding everybody. <laughs> We're going to give. Yeah, Evita. We're going to give. Three. A strong three. A strong, a strong three. three. There's you know some what? real strong elements It might here. get up to a four after previews. Maybe I could see some people really? loving it, but I can see some people hating it. There were some empty seats when we came back from the interval. There were. So, you know, it's yeah. not everybody's cup of tea. Strange. But if you think you've seen Evita done every way it can, I promise you, you haven't. This is something new and original, and I would recommend you see it. It's contemporary, it's cool, it's hip. Come and see it delivered by a fantastic, energetic, a strong ensemble cast. cast. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Um, and for the choreography alone, it's worth a look. But that's just what I think. And that's just what I think. However, before we go, you asked me a question. What was it? If you could only see one production of a Vita, in your life ever again, would it be the Bill Kenwright tour, which has been out on the road forever, or would it be this one? Ah, uh, do I have to give an answer? Are you asking yeah. me to choose? It's like asking me to choose between my children or something like that. Do you it's know what I mean? It's really not. You're not that attached For to different show. reasons. I can't answer that so good. Go on, one or the I've other. There's before. a gun to your head. I've seen stronger casts before. So Kenwright. And stronger sounds. Well, we gave Kenwright a four, I think, that tour, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, so and, and answer, the choreography guys. was great there. However, for different reasons, I enjoyed this fresh look and I enjoyed the movement and the staging of this. Interesting. So, yep. If I could have those vocals and with this cast, then that would be it. That would be the orgas orgasmic cosmic explosion. Ooh, we're the Breaker Leggers. And we'll catch you again soon. Bye! Bye.